said to pray. We don't have any option. It's either we pray or we pray. Amen. Amen. It's either we pray or we pray. Because we are living in the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, there is no prayerlessness. In the kingdom of God, prayerlessness is a sin. Once you choose not to pray, know that you are sinning before God. Because uh, Jesus is saying, when you pray, and now who are you not to pray? Whose child are you not to pray? If Jesus Christ himself prayed, Jesus Christ himself used to uh, take himself away from the rest of the people and go and seek the face of God and go and pray. Now whose child are you not to pray? Whose child are you not to just want to receive things on a silver platter? Amen. Amen. You know when uh, a woman is going into labor, yeah, to, to deliver, and we expect them to come back holding a baby boy or a baby girl, holding uh, a human being. Amen. Now it will be a problem when you see the mother coming out of the maternity ward uh, holding a puppy or holding a kitten. Meow, meow, meow. It becomes a problem, hallelujah. Because a human being gives birth to a human being. Hallelujah. We were created, we are children of God, we should resemble the character of God, we should resemble the character of Jesus Christ. We have got Christ in us, and Christ was very prayerful. Jesus Christ used to pray, Jesus Christ commanded us to pray without ceasing. And now you only pray during the uh, January 10 days, and also in this June, and then you are done. But we are being commanded to pray all the time. Amen. Uh, in Acts chapter 6, verse 4, we also see the apostles. The apostles also emphasizing on the importance of prayer. Uh, is, uh, they were electing the deacons. They said, we need people who do the physical work because we want to have more time. We want to commit ourselves continually to prayer and the word of God. They wanted to commit themselves continually to prayer without any disturbance because they know that their ministry for them to overcome for them to conquer they needed to be prayerful and if we trace the lives of the apostles we see a lot of miracles following them a lot of signs and wonders because they committed to continually pray they committed to continually seek the face of God so we should also do the same our father, Apostle Ezekiel Kuti, committed to continually seek the face of God, committed to pray and fast for many days, many weeks. And now I, as a true disciple, who seeks to be grounded in the doctrine of the church, I choose to pray once a week or once a month. Amen. Amen. Something is wrong with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Something is wrong with me. Hallelujah. Okay, uh, if you go back again, okay, I'm about to finish. If you go back again to 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, there's also an important part that is stressed there. If my people who are called according to my name, who humble themselves, who pray, seek my face, and turn away from wicked ways. Turn away from wicked ways. You know, wicked ways hinders the blessing of God's property in your life. Wicked ways causes prayerlessness. Uh, wicked ways uh, blocks the blessings or it does the power of God in your life. Hallelujah. We need to turn away from wicked ways and focus on God. We need to turn away from this gossiping that we preach every day and focus on God. Hallelujah. Our Father in the book, uh, Two Ways of Knowing God, he says, if you overcome this text of wickedness, you attract a blessing. If you overcome gossip, you attract a blessing. If you overcome anger, if you overcome jealousy, you attract a blessing. Hallelujah. For you to attract a blessing, you need to turn away from your wicked ways. You need to turn away from this uh, scheming and plotting against each other. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wicked ways cause us not to hear from God. Wicked ways delay us to our destiny. Hallelujah. We need to turn away from the wicked ways. Amen. Anyway, I will not do much on that because I'm not a pastor. I'm also trying to work uh, on myself. Amen. Uh, in conclusion, I just wanted to say that uh, the power that we have in us is activated through prayer. The power that God gave us 
is only activated through prayer. Amen. Of course, we do all these other things, it's good. But for that power to manifest, for that power to work in you, it is activated through prayer and fasting. Through prayer and fasting. You have the power, you have the authority. Uh, if you go to the book of uh, the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 54, we see the examples of uh, of Jesus, James and John. They are also called sons of thunder. When Jesus was rejected in this other Samaritan village, they did not accept him. So it, uh, it did not go well with these uh, two gentlemen. And they said, uh, Jesus, our Lord, please allow us to go fire from heaven and consume these people and consume this village and destroy this village. Like what Elijah did, referring to what Elijah did in the uh, book of 2 Kings chapter 1, verse number 10, 11, 12. They knew that the, the power to call the fire from heaven, even though Jesus uh, uh, dismissed or turned down their request, but they knew that they, they the power to call fire from heaven and to destroy all the schemes of the devil. As a child of God, as a true disciple, I have got power to call down fire from heaven and destroy the cave of the enemy, where the people are plotting against my life, where they are plotting against my marriage. I have got the power to call fire and destroy. I have got the power to call fire from heaven and destroy. I have got the power to call thunder and destroy all those schemes of the devil against your life. Amen. Some say this boy or this girl will never go to school or will never graduate. They are plotting against your life. But through prayer and fasting, through reading the word of God, through continuous prayer, not just once of prayer, but continuous intensive prayer and fasting, you can call down the thunder from heaven and destroy every plan of the devil in your life. Hallelujah. You can call down the, the holy consuming fire to burn each and every impurity in your body that is causing disease, that is causing sickness. Each and every day you are sick, but you have the power, you have the ability to call fire from heaven and destroy that and be set free. Amen. You have got the power, hallelujah. Amen. That power is only activated in prayer. That power is only activated in prayer. And prayer is a practical subject. As much as we read all these books, uh, learn from different authors, different preachers about prayer, but prayer will only work if we start to pray. Amen. Amen. If we start to pray, we want to rise on our feet in this moment. We want to call unto the Lord. We want to call unto God.